Hi everybody, it's Elizabeth with the Noonan Carnegie Library and today we're going to be making uh, pickled eggs in a variety of colors and flavors for Easter this year and these will be a lovely adult treat um, and they'll be ready just in time for Easter. So we're going to start with a beet pickled egg which is going to come out kind of a pink or slightly reddish color and also a little bit sweet, so sweet and tart at the same time. And we've got the flavors for this are going to come from cloves, allspice, and cinnamon, also onion, and a little sugar. And the color is going to come definitely from the beets, but also a little bit of flavor. So we're going to have beet juice in there for our color and our flavor. Each of our jars, we're going to do three different kinds, has about 10 eggs that I've already boiled and peeled so that we can have uh, our different flavors. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a cup of white vinegar to get the pickling process going. And these are just gonna pickle in the refrigerator. starting in there. I love that. That's going to be gorgeous when we get it done. and a couple of cinnamon sticks. There we go. Allspice. That says to, to do four to five allspice berries, but I couldn't get my hands on allspice berries, so I'm gonna do about a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice instead should do for that. just in time for Easter and I'm going to have everyone here at the library do a tasting when they're ready. So that's our beets one and that was a cup of white vinegar topped off with beet juice, half of a small onion, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of salt. I didn't put the salt in. Let's put the salt in. Gotta add that. I knew I was missing something. I want to make 
make sure these are preserved properly. There we go. Okay, two tablespoons of salt, six to eight cloves, the allspice, which I used a quarter teaspoon of because I didn't have four to five allspice berries, and a cinnamon stick to add that flavor. Now we've got everything in there. up real good and we'll store that in the fridge for three to four weeks and it'll be ready to eat and so the next one we're gonna do is a bread and butter flavor and it's gonna get its color from turmeric it's gonna become a nice yellow color this off to the side. so we've got our same 10 eggs and we're gonna put in onion as well get this little pink piece out we don't want any pink in there onion and we're going to add garlic sugar because this one's going to be a little sweet as well since it's got a bread and butter flavor to it. So we half a cup of sugar. yellow color. Once they've fermented, pickled in the refrigerator the whole time. To add a little bit more vinegar just to make sure that's topped all the way. You want to make sure that your eggs are completely covered with vinegar for this process. this one um, kind of blue. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm going to do the spicy jalapeno. That's what I have the jalapeno for. So we're going to do a spicy jalapeno pickled egg. And we're going to turn this one blue. And uh, to get the blue color, what I have done is last night I boiled red cabbage 
for a little while and then I let it simmer um, just for about 30 40 minutes just kind of let it get all the color into the water and then strain it so I have boiled cabbage water right here to do our color with for our spicy jalapeno pickles I wanted them to be a color too and not just be clear so we've got our 10 pickled eggs and we're going to do the two teaspoons of salt two tablespoons of salt sugar and I sliced my jalapenos and I de-seeded them because I like them to be a little spicy but I don't want them to be super super spicy if you really like that extra heat you can leave the seeds in and that'll give you that extra extra hot here we go jalapenos sliced up in there. All right. More onion. This. Here we go. I'm going to do some garlic as well. Whatever water you add, you want to have equal to or slightly more vinegar than water in your mix. to dye actual eggs but you want to soak them overnight so boil the eggs in the cabbage water in the beet water in the turmeric water and then let them sit overnight to get a good brilliant color on them but they can be used to make natural Easter egg colors as well all right so we have our jalapeno our bread and butter and our beet pickled eggs for three different flavors and hopefully three different colors we'll see how that turns out um, these are going to sit in our refrigerator for three to four weeks and then we are going to do a little taste testing and I hope to have some video loaded of that when the time comes of our library staff here tasting these pickled eggs and seeing what they think of those. So thank you so much for joining me today to make our um, adult Easter eggs, our pickled eggs with different flavors and colors. 
And uh, I really appreciate you guys joining me for that. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining the Newton Carnegie Library. Bye-bye.